Hello fellow Evaholics and welcome to Fit Friday. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we are here with Mrs. Didi Sunesis. Um, first, before we go to the fit, I would like to say big thanks to the community. You have grown from 0 to 26 in less than 2 weeks. That's amazing. Thank you guys for joining in and liking the videos and whatnot. It's very, uh, very important for a small YouTuber like me to get a nice start to keep motivated. And I'm glad that the content is hitting the spot. So yeah, thanks guys for joining. And now let's get to the fitting. And as always, I'm going to drop the e workbench link on the description. So you can uh, copy paste the fitting for you if you do like it. So here we have a, a non-faction DD Sunesis. Uh, we are using this as uh, Isaac Losek transits and to cut corners. For example, Jita Tomar. You can go through the gap on Losek space and avoid 20 jumps. Or I think it's 20, 20 or 25 jumps even by cut, cutting through that corner so yeah uh, it's a it's a nice a small ship and that can uh, carry around expensive stuff especially in high sec uh, we have 1k cubic meter uh, cargo hold thanks to the uh, uh, optimization rigs and uh, one uh, cargo hold extender t2 uh, for uh, defense we have small cores core defense field extender and um, three medium shield extenders uh, uh, fitting the regolith com uh, compact ones uh, costs a whole lot more same with these these are like 79k and the t2s are 3 million so in a ship that it's like 10 million to buy the hull uh, it's totally useless to put more money into the fitting because the whole idea of the ship is that it aligns in sub two second time and uh, that's why you can uh, take more risky cargo with it because uh, basically uh, you need a booster and uh, someone with like perfect uh, uh, targeting skills uh, to catch you on gates uh, of course smart bombs are a thing in low sec and bubbles in null that's why because this can't avoid bubbles i don't take it to null and for this account i haven't I haven't taken it to null anyways uh, here the defense ehp is sitting at a 9.5k in almost and so i think with the 4k uh, shield hit points i think as far as i know uh reading through e wiki so i don't totally bullshit you guys i think it can survive even the battleship smart bombs but please if i'm wrong correct me and uh, i'll add that to the subscription and that that is crap uh, statement but uh, as far as i understood the smart bomb mechanics uh, this should be able to avoid it uh, and of course when traveling through Losek, if the local is busy, please don't jump from gate to gate, instead jump off the trajectory from any gate to gate uh, jumps uh, into a celestial or something and from there jump to the gate so you might be able to avoid getting smart bombs because those, as far as I again understand, they uh, get triggered if you go too close to them and coming from totally different trajectory you might avoid hitting that path that triggers them to explode but yeah so uh, dog tags those uh, small electronic parts that are super expensive uh, uh, and all that kind of stuff you can fit a nice chunk of them in here and haul them through the empire space uh, I think that's about it. It's a small ship, but it can do big things and it has paid back itself many times. I've been running BPOs and tags with this 
and some other uh, stuff that I've uh, made player contacts in game and I've helped them get stuff from low sec to high sec and gained a nice money through that uh, but yeah I guess it's time to thanks say thanks uh, uh, I really really love you guys from uh, Jita to Amar and back for joining in on the th on this channel so uh, stick around for more videos like this and uh, uh, if not anything on weekend the next video is going to be the one on monday challenge video report week three